Good morning on Tuesday, March 30th from Snake Mountain Boatworks. We are in the final stage of priming the mid-60s, 20-foot Lyman runabout, knock on wood. And I thought I would take this opportunity to share with you the process we go through in priming and painting lap strake hulls. So at the bottom part of the boat, below the water line, we prime with uh, Pettit 6627 tie coat primer. Doesn't need any thinning, although it can be thin, but if you thin it, uh, Pettit calls for its uh, number 97 epoxy thinner. We don't thin it, we find it, it works very well. We will follow three coats of the primer with at least three, probably four coats of Pettit 1933 anti-fouling copper bronze color bottom paint. And then we move to the top sides where our weapons of choice are first the total boat premium marine primer uh, for one and two coat, the two part uh, top side finishes. This is just a wonderful paint. It applies easily and smoothly. It uh, dries incredibly quickly. And as you'll see in a minute, uh, we always apply two to three coats of this primer, sanding between coats very, very lightly. Um, and we, our tool for applying is not the classic foam yellow three inch roller because that roller, while it applies paint incredibly well on a lap strake, those hard edges tend to dig into the strake above the one that you are painting. So we have, we have found the Proline Mighty Mini uh, foam roller to be really just wonderful, particularly since it has a soft end uh, that will not damage the, uh, the material. So let's take a look at the boat and see how she's going. Once we have finished priming her and have sanded the top sides very quickly uh, with a block and 120 or 220, the job is completed by applying at least three coats of Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel, number 220, semi-gloss white. This is just a wonderful paint. It does not hide as strongly as bright side does or as Total Boat's top side enamel does, but its asset is that it imparts the much desired sheen without being super shiny surface that Lyman owners are after. Uh, the fact that it's semi-gloss also, in truth, tends to hide a world of sins. Uh, that Garwood that Ensign that's directly behind the, the can of uh, Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel is painted in this same paint. It's a, it's a wonderful paint, produces a, a wonderful result, It'll last for year and year after year after year. And when you need to recoat it, a good sanding with, again, something like 220, just to knock off the sheen, uh, and your boat is ready for her next coats of premium yacht enamel. So let's go take a look at knock on wood and see how she's doing. 